Hello, hello. I uh, received my parcel from La Palma now, and uh, that means some of the rocks I collected have arrived. And there's this specimen here, which is uh, sulfurous encrusting on a basalt. And uh, here I'd like to kind of have a closer look now. And uh, let's see whether we can zoom in a little bit. Should work. So here we see these sulfurous, well, former droplets of sulfur, and uh, they're quite gorgeous so I'm hoping to extract some of this material and do some sulfur isotope analysis on these so and let's go a little closer here so this is phenomenal so I'm really really impressed with these little sulfur droplets that um, solidified on that basalt fragment here and up here we see this rather beautifully There's also tiny crystallites now. Some of these have formed little crystals. And of course, underneath, uh, like in the, um, well, lower right here, we see a bit of the original basalt coming through. And uh, this is only a surface coating. And if we take the sample and move this around, and I can actually show this. So here we have more of the sulfur crust. And here on the other side we have more of these droplets, these sulfur droplets. And if I turn it around, here's the basaltic part. So this was where I broke the piece out of the substrate and uh, there's no sulfur encrusting on that because this was not exposed to sulfur vapors at the surface. So, last look at the sulfur. There's some nice ones here. And uh, yeah, so this is material that is now forming on the cone because of the sulfurous vapors and uh, sulfur will condensate uh, from the vapor phase into a liquid phase and uh, then ultimately into a solid phase on cooling. So this is what we're seeing here and uh, I wanted to share that with you. So I'll turn the specimen around one more time. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I say thank you very much and all the very best. And uh, I hope to see you soon.